good morning welcome back to my channel we are just going down to the spot shed have a bit of a look around see if there's anything good um don't normally buy meat from there it's pretty crap wouldn't mind seeing if they have um some frozen meatballs they're pretty good they taste like well, from subway so i'll have a look for them and just after some fresh produce really and then we'll probably pop down to aldi later it's only well, it'll, be open, it'll be open by the time we but pop down there and get some more meat. I've just been trying to work out what's going to be on the menu for the week. So um, once we get back, I can hopefully show you what's on the menu for the week and a bit of a meal plan. Okay, so we've just finished at the spud shed and we did a really good shop. I was quite happy with how much it was for what we got. And then we just ran into Woolworths and just grabbed a bit of meat from there. So we don't need to go to Aldi now, so that's good. So we're just nearly home and we can unpack it all and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so here is a little overview. The whole table's full, so pretty happy with that. Starting down in this corner, we got some of these vegetable spring rolls. These are so good. I was talking to the girls at work about them. They are like five bucks for a kilo box. Open. There was only about five left, so I said, Tubby bugger, I'm gonna grab two. We got this big pack of ham. I actually grabbed a couple of separate little packs, and then I said, Tubby, no, I'm gonna get this. It's like 15 bucks for a kilo. And the other ones were, that, uh, were 350 for about 200 grams. So, and there was only like three of the smoked ones left. I love, love smoked ham, so good. Got a kilo bag of tomatoes. We got some lollies. I'm just going to put these away for barley. So we've got some frogs, some strawberries and cream, and some drumstick ones. They're like oh, new, new ones. We've got a couple of zucchinis. We've got some hamburger buns. Just some normal bread rolls for lunches. The little milks were like two for three bucks. I did get two chocolate. Um, my daughter's having one now, and I got the two strawberry. Got some garlic granules. Some capsicums, they were like seven ninety nine a kilo, and they're really nice. I did buy some capsicums yesterday. I bought a bag um, already, but yeah, I'll go through them quite a bit, so it's okay. Got a butternut pumpkin, that was only 99 cents a kilo. Got four loaves of white bread. Um, over the back, we got some meat. This was all from Woolworths. So we got the beef burgers. These are the best ones that I love. I always rave about these to everybody. Amelia Park ones. So obviously we'll have those with the hamburger buns. We've got these chicken sausages marked down. They're normally eight bucks and they'll mark down to five. So we grabbed four of those. That'll be two meals for us. So that's pretty good, pretty cheap. Um, I got a silver side because we've brought broccolis and cauliflowers. And I said to Hubby, if I do the cheese sauce for that, I can also do extra cheese sauce for to do up the cauliflower and broccoli cheese and stuff. And we also got a beef rolled brisket roast as well. I've been loving the beef roast beef, so yummy. Um, down this end, we just got a pack of wraps over the back there. I've got the big ones. I didn't have any of the smaller ones. Um, and we got some broccolis. They were like three for two bucks and they're really good. And you got a free broccoli with any purchase as well, so that was a good score. Got a big two kilo bag of onions, they're about two dollars. The cabbages, I want to say, were three for five dollars. My chooks will probably eat two of these, they love it. Um, got some beetroots in here, that'll be nice. Roast it up in the oven. We got a couple of sweet potatoes, one purple one, and just a normal one. They're so big, though, they didn't have any smaller ones. Um, there's my big cauliflowers, they were pretty good. Got two lettuce, they weren't really that big, but they were um, they were only two for three bucks, so it was pretty good. Uh, grabbed a bag of spinach as well, baby spinach. I grabbed another one of these butter chickens from Woolworths. These, these ones are really, really good. If you do your chicken in some natural yogurt like i use greek yogurt and paprika marinate it in that first and then do your butter chicken oh my god it'll be the best one you'll ever eat 
We got some Megarang noodles, we got two packs of those. We got some Pink Lady apples, they looked really good. They're about six bucks a kilo in Woolies, but they look really yummy, so it didn't, didn't bother me. Got the last bag of meatballs from the spud shed. There's a kilo, and they're about 16, 17 bucks. But they'll be two meals for us, so again, it's a pretty, pretty cheap meal. They had canned tomatoes at spud shed, $1.20, so I grabbed some of them. They're really not cheap at all, um, even at Aldi at the moment. Hubby ran to the chemist and got some Gaviscon, which was a rip-off, 15 bucks for that. Could have got a big one from Chemist Warehouse. A uh, bag of potatoes, four kilos. I'll probably be growing by the time I get to use them. But if I do them sort of earlier in the week and just work out what we're going to have, um, I'll try to make use out of them before they start to grow. Um, yeah, so that is my whole haul. And there was a dare ice coffee too, but my son's drinking it already. So the total was for the spud shed. $140.86 and we spent $93.45 at Woolworths. Okay, so I ended up having to go to Aldi to get milk. Totally forgot to grab some while I was at Woolworths, so I just got the six in the box. And I also grabbed some music bars for hubby for work and anyone else who wants them. I think there's anyone who really likes them. Got a couple of uh, packs of spaghetti as well, and I grabbed a pack of salmon. I actually bought one yesterday, but I ended up making dinner and taking it up to the mother-in-law's. We had salmon and mushroom risotto, and I did a veggie bake with potato, uh, not potato, sweet potato, pumpkin, and Brussels sprouts, and it was just delicious. So I only had one bit left by the time I'd done that, so I had to buy another pack of that for the week. Okay, so when we went to Aldi yesterday, we also got some blue cheese. Got this pack of Scotch fillet steak, which they're just all mixed up in there because they moved around a little bit. Uh, what else did we get from Aldi? Oh, I got some Bocconcini Markdown. I love these so much. They're beautiful with... um balsamic dressing on them oh oh we also got a box the lady next door had a box out the front of her house with oranges in it and we had to go to bunnings before so i pulled over and said dobby phillips Philip, put some in a bag so he didn't put that many in there and then later on i said to the young bloke go have a look out the front door and see if they're still there and they were so he grabbed the whole box <laughs> so that's full and we already had probably joy had four I had two, James had one, I had one. Uh, also got a big cucumber from Aldi as well. And like I said earlier, I had bought a bag of salmon as well. I also got a bag of avocados from there as well. Um, one of there from Spudshed. And there's a bag of capskins. I think I put them in the drawer there. And although we got corn today from the Spudshed, I also bought four on oh no, a three sorry from Aldi and there's a purple onion I got that from Aldi as well um so yeah that's what we got from Aldi yesterday so I want to say with the bag of salmon and all the other bits and pieces that we got we spent about 70 bucks oh, I got bananas too <laughs> me fruit bowl the puppy loves bananas and the young bloke loves bananas as well so yeah it's not even really pay week I get paid every Sunday but I generally do my grocery shopping um, on hubby's pay week, so which will be this week. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what we spent, about 240, about 320 I reckon, which is pretty much, not too bad actually for Picked us. all these, oops, tomatoes off me, tomato plant yesterday, and that's a big ramekin, it's not a small one. So that's what I was saying to you in the previous vlog that I had. These are the tomatoes that you buy from Aldi, the Bellino ones, three fifty a pint they're worth. And I reckon this is probably the fifth bowl that I've filled up and it is still covered in tomatoes. And you don't need to wait till they get red red, they actually ripen up just at room temperature. Um, so yesterday I got Hobby out there to help me and we've put four big star pickets around it all and pinned it all up. So it's just gonna keep popping heaps more out. And they're just beautiful, so yummy. Hey guys, I'm gonna leave this vlog 
here I'm going to show you all the meals that I make and I'll probably show you my meals tomorrow is Monday so I'll show you all the meals and the meal plan tomorrow um, but yeah I'm going to start doing another vlog now and show you what's the dinner for tonight so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one